now I've ran to Exuma. I wanted to live stream so y'all can see just how beautiful this island is. Even in my case, I can still see the, the, the beauty of it. So I'll share that with you guys. Um, I don't have enough subscribers, so I couldn't live, screen, live stream this beautiful beach, this beautiful island, which I wanted to. It's just, what word can I describe for this, this island of Exuma? 300 keys and islands. Um, majestic yeah it's majestic this is somebody's timeshare I've been parked at for the last eight hours it has um, running outside water, so that means I could take a shower. That's a good thing. Um, so I'll just let you guys look at, at the beach. Try to hold up the camera with something. Not camera, but um, we don't have cameras no more. We have smartphones that the ability of a camera. So put that there. Put that there. Oops. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah. That's a pretty good view. Get more of the ocean probably there. It's even better. So I don't know how long that's gonna record but so beautiful. I wish I wasn't running though. I was here to enjoy. Let me see if I can get in the lens. The sand here is as soft as baby powder. In another video, I'll probably show you that. But I'm gonna try to upload now. Um, I'm gonna need you guys to subscri subscribe to the channel so I can, when I, on my next Island Hop, I'll be able to uh, go live if I have enough subscribers. I forgot the amount of subscribers you need. Um, I've just left Nassau. I was in Nassau for two weeks. Two weeks before that, I was in Eleuthera, Rock Sound. I stayed there for 14 days. 
before that, I was, um, where was I? Hmm. Shoot. I think I was in, I think I was in Cuba for 14 days before that. And before that, I was in Ragged Island. And before I was in Ragged Island, I was in Eleuthera, but North Eleuthera, down there in Bogue. It's called Bogue, it's a town. And before that, I was in Abaco for two weeks, no, for one day. And before that, I was in Freeport for one year. And before that, I was in Nassau for many years. And I've been hopping island, hopping island, hopping. Every time these guys catch up with me, I, I leave the island and go to another one. It's very expensive. The problem is my phones can't get charged because outlets aren't everywhere I go. So I'm going to need somebody to donate, if you could, a solar-powered battery pack, the charger kind. That would really be good. Um, just tell me... Uh, how uh, just let me know that you want to donate it so I can arrange a way that I can be able to pick it up and um, I would need you to also pay the duty on it because as I said funds are very scarce and I barely get to move oh let me show you what I what I bought um what the I had a hundred dollars um, somebody sent to me I bought some crackers Usually, in a situation like this, you usually buy dry foods because you can take them with, the, with you. They don't need refrigeration. And sometimes you can buy a pack of bologna, but you just can't open it. And when you do open it, you gotta eat all. You have to eat all when you open it. So, water is very, very important. I have three gallons of water. I have peanuts, I have bread, which I never buy, but I felt like having bread today because I haven't had bread in many, many months. It's almost forgetting what bread tastes like. I bought a pack of cheese, Kraft cheese and some bologna, Boar's bologna. I, I plan to not open this until tomorrow. Then I'm going to eat the whole pack tomorrow. I might save some cheese, but I won't be saving any bologna because it will spoil. Okay. And then I have, let's see, that's two, four, six, hmm, seven for seven days of crackers. I have seven days of crackers. And uh, oh, I forgot I had this candy bar. Oh man, it almost melted. It's an old Henry. Okay, so, and I have some cookies for my delight, which I never be able to get sweets on the run, hardly ever. I get to eat sweets. So that's like a special treat for me. And in my book bag, I have my four phones. For when one goes dead, another one I can use. And this time I bought some Chef Boardi beef ferroni. Bought four cans of it. I ate a can earlier with the bread. And this one is spaghetti meatballs. And this one is beef ferroni. And the rest is sardine. Oh boy, let me turn around. 90 cents for the sardine. I don't know who this company is. See best. I don't really know who it is. A product of Thailand. Oh my God, it's in tomato sauce. Oh my God, I didn't. I've never eaten sardines in tomato sauce. I know that's going to give me stomach pain. Because something about 
the tomato sauce it has really caused my stomach to, to flare up so I bought 10 cans of that 10 cans of a mistake <laughs> I really didn't read what was in it <laughs> besides it being sardines so that's my food for the week and each gallon of water should last me for three days when I get I don't smoke cigarettes but when I get really really stressed I will light one of these cigarettes and smoke it Rothmans they're really bad for your health I would light one and smoke one but the thing is I left my lighter in my last stop where I stayed for three days in the bush so my lighter is there so yeah and I'm at somebody's um, I think this is a timeshare that someone has in Exuma. I was able to, they had an outside shower because I hadn't bathed for three days. I decided to use it. This it right here. It was really, really a mess and I cleaned it out when I was finished using it to say thank you. So, looks like nobody has been here for a while, so. I used it. I didn't use their conditioner because it's not mine. So, yeah. But I did use their water. Yes, their backyard. Very tropical. And that's the Exuma Turquoise. Turquoise? That's how you say that color? Beach. Very beautiful. I'm charging another one of my phones. They have outside outlets so I can charge my phone. This place came in very handy. As you can see, they have um, kayaks. Would have liked to go on a kayak. But they have an outside porch. I would have loved to go on a kayak. But uh, I'm not here for pleasure. I'm here to last for... 15 more days until I can get some more funds to run to another spot. Somebody asked me on the plane, a guy from, um, I think he said he was from South Carolina, um, a tourist I met on a plane, a Bahamas airplane. He asked me, um, what's the end game? How do, when do you plan to stop running? And what are you gonna do to stop running? And I really didn't have an answer for him. I wish I did. But I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I wanted to leave the country, but I don't have enough money to leave the country. So, every month, I just find a way to go to a new place. But it usually be every 14 days, I'd be able to go to another place. Because remember, the Bahamas have over a thousand islands and keys. So, I usually relocate to one of those until I can probably one day come up with enough money to leave the country for good. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you guys to subscribe so I can be able to go live and really show you what's going on in real time all right thank you guys for watching please don't reveal my location i'm in eleuthera the bahamas eleuthera is the only island that have this many keys and islands it has 300 of the over a thousand that the bahamas has I learned that today from a guy. Thank you. Y'all take care and be safe.